Okay, we are recording. I have to tell you this with words because it could, apparently my little hand signal before was so cryptic that you never knew what it meant. Did you say something? <laughs> I said, have fun filming this on your own. Aww. I'm going to get food now. <laughs> but I need you. Do you, th do you really though? Yes. <laughs> Anyway, we should probably get started like the professionals that we are. Professionals get paid. I get paid? Yeah, I don't. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back. I'm Tyler. You've been listening to our intrepid cameraman. And welcome back to Frock Talk, the series where I go through my entire closet, one dress at a time, so you guys can get detail shots and listen to us torture each other. Because someone has to. By torture each other, it's, I feel like it's like 90% you torturing me. Today's dress is... <laughs> where is it? Oh god! So our dress today is Decoration Dream, one that I actually have two of. I also have it in yellow, which I absolutely adore. But today we're going to be looking at the pink one. Why? Because pink is awesome. It's the best color ever. 12-year-old me would grind her teeth if she heard that. She hated pink. Hated it with every fiber of her tomboy soul. Would not be seen dead in pink. But now I love it and it owns my life. But Decoration Dream, I'll put its info on screen as well as its release date. It is one of my favorite dresses that I own. And I know I say that about every single dress because it's true. But this dress, honestly... A fun fact about this dress is that this is the dress that I think of when I'm trying to like put a smile on my face when I'm filming LWLN because it gets a little hard to remember what happiness feels like <laughs> when I'm reporting things on that show. So I think of Decoration Dream and it makes me happy. And honestly, this print is so dense and yet gorgeous. I think we could really take our time going through it because there are so many wonderful aspects of Decoration Dream that make it truly special and different. And also, look at that bustle back. That's right, there's a bustle. And I do believe there's two cuts of Decoration Dream. I do believe there's another JSK that does not have the bustle back. And I needed this just for that bustle. I really like bustle backs. I feel like they add a little something, a little something something to a dress. But yes, let's have a real look at this dress and starting with the like shirred shoulder straps, like stretchy shoulder straps. And before you freak out, yes, I have hung it even though it has stretchy shoulder straps. It's not going to die. There has been no <laughs> damage done to the shoulder straps. You can stop hyperventilating. <laughs> I can feel it through the screen. I've just, okay, I've seen the comments. All right. I've seen them. People are losing it. It's fine. It's not going to die. <laughs> But seriously, this dress isn't that heavy. It's not going to stretch out the straps. And honestly, I've had it for, what, years? And nothing has happened. Nothing. I was waiting for your commentary on this. I, you would know better than I would if something happened. It appears to be that it was a stretch to ask you for your commentary. That's the only thing that's stretching around uh, here. God so damn it. Sorry. I don't mean it. Look at the pretty dress. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Oh, the cupcakes have little hearts in them. Have the you seen the cupcakes? cupcakes. Are the cupcakes on front? Um, Find the cupcakes right, right here. See... Look at the hearts. Oh, you're right. They do have little, like, like little Valentine heart candies. Those things. Except they that... don't. Ha except they don't have words on them. They like taste like death. Those yeah. things. Was it like, uh, um, according to Futurama, they're made from like. Uh, Earwigs and bone meal, I think, is what they <laughs> like. Are. Crumbled up bones, like human bones. <laughs> I think earwig honey and bone meal, I think, is what it was. Honestly, that's what they taste like. But like, they look nice though. They look nice. Yeah, just don't eat them ever. Never put them in your body. But you can put them on your body in the form of prints. I think that's really pretty. I like. I like this whole tray. There's like bows and hearts. Look at the different colors of frosting. I believe there's there's a what's that nuclear green cupcake print by AP Magic Whip or something like that? I feel like it's Magic Whip. I'll put that ugly ass dress on screen, okay? It's <laughs> legendary. 
legendary for being ugly. And according to lore, she told me this at a convention, that dress was actually inspired um, by the designer's trip to California. And she described it as like toxic green. <laughs> And she said it was very fitting. And since Laura's like originally from California, I feel like she can say that. <laughs> but this dress is really pretty. And there's Take like, that, California. Now we've started on California. <laughs> They're on fire right now. Yeah, sorry about they that. They get a pass, all yeah. right? They get a free out from our state roasting because they're roasting literally. literally. Yeah. Okay. Uh. We'll leave poor California alone. Wait until the ashes have settled, all right? <laughs> Seriously, but there's like cake pops on this dress. Have you seen the cake pop? Can you see the cake pop? I, yes. Straighten that out. Look at that cake pop. It's, it's got, got sprinkles. sprinkles. Oh, I want a cake pop now. I'm sorry. I've had too much sugar this morning. I like it though. And look at the horse cookie. Yep. Look at that horse cookie. Horse cookie. Yes. I'm I not sure it. if these are balloons or if these are like candies are. of some kind. I think those are balloons. They look like balloons. They look kind of like balloons. It's balloons on a cake and the cake says angelic pretty. It's like a cake carousel. Yeah. See that? <gasps> it's a cake a cell. <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. It is. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. I, did, I never noticed that. It totally is supposed to be carousel inspired because the, the horse cookies on mm -hmm. the little... What? <laughs> I love this! I already love this dress and I loved it so much. And then you pointed out a thing I didn't even notice and I love it. I think it's pretty. Also, yeah. these bows. The bows. There's more, there's like a, more cupcakes up here and stars. Mm -hmm. Little heart candies again. I just, like the rickrack poking out. These appear to be like macarons. Yeah, they so are. Um, there's floating macarons. There's floating ponies. The bow comes off. Did you know that? I did not the know The bow that. is actually attached by a safety pin. I didn't do that. That's just how it is. And it's yeah. also a posable bow. There's wire in it. <laughs> oh, buyer beware. If you're going to wash this, you need to take the bow off. You should not be washing stuff that has wires in it if you don't want it to rust. Okay, so take there the bow go. off. You should take it off anyway, because the safety pin pulling on the fabric when it's wet could widen the holes. So you definitely want to take that off if you wash it, okay? You can watch my how to wash your fracking clothes video or whatever the frack it was called. But yeah, it, the bow is posable, but buyer beware, take it off before you wash it. I really like these, there's polka dots on the top bow. There is indeed. I didn't even notice that. There's little stars in the lacing here. There's stars in the lace. I didn't notice that either. Am I, am I just blind? I feel like oh, I feel like I get an out though, because this is kind of a super dense well, print. And I just noticed, see, look at the this lacing here. Yeah. Next to the bows. There's little bows in the lacing. Mm-hmm. AP's classic bow lace. They put that on a lot of their wrist cuffs and a lot of the bottoms of their dresses. I bet if we look through here, we could find a bunch that have that bow lace. For sure, some wrist cuffs that do. Look at the multicolored bows. That's really pretty. Cupcakes, sweethearts throughout. You you pointed out the stars, which I never noticed cake pops what else is going on in here that i'm gonna turn this around because that's the one i can actually see like i know we looked at this before but that like triple tiered look at the colors like polka dots on the cupcake paper a triple tiered stack with a star on top like they put some work into this print this is incredibly detailed like these look these look tasty. Like, I want to eat this right now. Little heart candies that actually do have words on oh, them. Oh, they do. They say, like, cute and, what is love. it, love? I feel it's kind of not on brand, but <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll have it edited to say hate in the video. <laughs> It'll be fine. This is a hate parade, after all. It needs to be on brand. Ah, the memories. No one's going to get it. <laughs> Does anyone have that video? Anyone out there? Oh, no one. Please. No one knows. I need to see that video again. And I'm not going to tell you anything more because those who know, know. And those who don't know, don't need to know. But I need that video in my life. I've never laughed so hard and for such horrible reasons as I did watching that video. And I really want to see well, it again. Well, I've told people about that video, like our friends. And I've said it's it was the leave Britney alone equivalent <laughs> the uh, Kelly Eden Defense Force. Oh yeah, I guess we can say that person's yeah, name. Yeah, we can we, say yeah. We don't want to yeah. say the other person. Well, I don't yeah. even know her name. Honestly, the I, who made I the don't want to say Kelly Eden's name either. But we'll say it. <laughs> we'll say but it. But the person, time. the person who made the other video, the rest, we don't know that person. This name. is a freebie. She can't return this one. Whoops. Anyway. <laughs> 
sorry. Oh, this macaron has love on it. You pointed out the floating macarons. I don't know if it's on the front, so I'll show you this one. This purple macaron has love written on it. Yes, Isn't that it does. Isn't cute? That's adorable. The little waist ties. Oh, they end with a bow. Hang on, I'll show you. Look at the cute little waist ties. And also, there's like little, I saw the bows before. What? There's also like little cakes. Cake lace. In the lace, you see that? How did I never notice the cake lace before? I, I bet it's on the bottom too. It is. There's cake lace with ribbon on the bottom. Have a look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's great. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's got partial shirring. I feel like, I don't know if we cover the shirring or not yet, but it's got partial shirring. So it's not as roomy as something that's fully shirred, but with the stretchy straps, you can get it down pretty close to your natural waist. So for the taller Lolitas that have issues with like partially shirred items still hitting on their ribs and it being a breathe out zip moment, this you can pull down a little further. So this is kind of tall Lolita friendly because of that. You can't adjust like a buttonhole, but they're stretchy. So, you know, it's nice. It's nice. There's a fuzzy on it. I saw something else interesting. Oh, the cake pops are different. You see, here's a pink one with a mint bow. Yep. I think that's really pretty. Oh, and look, I don't even know what these are, but I like them. They're like little A's and P's on sticks. Yeah, that's interesting. What? I guess they're lollipops or something or popsicles. Some or kind of popsicle, some kind of cake, cake pop, pops. But like, I thought that said rage. It says yeah. angelic. <laughs> it should say it rage. Should say it should say rage. Well, I thought this A was an R and I just saw rage. It says angelic pretty. Well, it says angelic. I'm sure pretty somewhere else. Angelic pretty's on the cake. I don't see pretty anywhere on this I particular. Don't. There's strawberries. There's fracking oh, strawberries on, yeah. on this cake. Confirmed. There are strawberries. Confirmed for strawberries. Damn it, you took my line. <laughs> There's more cake pops down here. Mm -hmm. In like a, a cup full of sweet tart? Sweethearts? Something. I think that's sweethearts. It's like a little jar well, yeah. full of sweethearts. And there's cake pops. Oh, they're so cute. There's like a little... There's a bunch of them. How cute is that? And then the little ponies. I just realized the base is purple. God, there's so many colors in this. Just stars and sprinkles. Wow. Everything that could be called pastel is on this dress at some Seriously. point. Seriously. I mean, you can cord this with almost any color. Is there blue on it too? I mean, there seems to be blue-ish notes for sure, at least. There's blue, blue, big blue fucking bow. There go the expletives. Anyway, Ad Romanu can kiss that goodbye. But yeah, you could cord this with purple, mint, pink, like sax, lavender. I already said purple, so redundant. But you could you could cord this dress with almost any pastel color because it has them all. Wow. This is just really pretty. I'm just kind of looking at it now. I'm just like, wow. Every time, this is what I really love about Frog Talk, because every time I cover one of these dresses, I you find notice new shit. Yeah, I yeah. find something new about it. And honestly, it kind of it's an opportunity to kind of appreciate a dress that you have in a new way. And I think it's it's really fun and pretty. This is a great fracking dress and I am newly obsessed with it. And now I want to cord it with like every color. So when was this one made? That's a good question. I honestly don't know off the top of my head. I'm guessing 2012 to 2014. I could be wrong. The reason I ask is because when you talk about AP and sweet prints you always say 2010 you say 2010 is what everyone is obsessed with and like in 2010 sweet style was like a, a particular thing that everyone wants and those prints are really valuable now that is a good note to point out when people say 2010 sweet they're kind of talking about the era so that's usually prints from like 2008 to like 2012 2013 roughly because that was like the height of the sweet prints like i'm pretty sure like my my dream dress like um Milky Chan the Fawn came out in 2008, I believe. I could be wrong. Milky Chan the Fawn is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I, I don't fucking care. I'm taking it out. <laughs> You're about to look at it. Sorry, deal with it. Milky Chan the Fawn, I believe, was released in 2008. I could be wrong. And this is kind of the style that people are talking about. When they talk 2010 suite, they're talking cotton, big border print, and usually they have a big waist bow too, because at the mm. time that was incredibly popular for AP. Recently, you'll notice with like Ice Cream Parlor and other releases like it, they've transitioned to a much smaller bow. So it's not like such a huge 
like square footage. Like the bow is no longer a compound for like research or whatever. It's just this itty bitty little smart car that sits on your waist. I'm just thinking of the image, that's all. <laughs> I did not give you permission to think. That's <sighs> <laughs> so sad. That's the sigh of a man who has dealt with this for a decade. Pity him, for he does not deserve this treatment. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I didn't give you permission to speak. I hate you. <laughs> no, but that's what they're talking about. Like, Milky Chan the Fawn. What's another one that's like big 2010 sweet style i mean i feel like my dream dress counts but i've showed that a lot so i'm trying to think of did i, I mean put, what about that in the wrong spot i did you did i did it's, it's gonna bother me hold, hold this <laughs> oh that's not your home go back that's right it goes here it goes here you go right here I'm trying to think of another one happy garden we covered recently right happy garden was another one fruits parlor i feel like let me dig that out because this is honestly a good topic, because 2010 Suite right now, here, I'll hold that. 2010 Suite right now is going for, like, blood diamond prices. Like, it went from me being able to buy dresses like this for, like, $120 on the Japanese secondhand site. This is Fruits Parlor, by the way. It's definitely in the era of the 2010 Suite craze. And by that, I mean roughly 2008 to 2013. That's my personal like definition, but honestly, I think that's what people mean when they're talking about like AP 2010 sweet craze because it's, we would run out of dresses pretty quickly if we were just talking about the 2010 releases. We're talking about that era of the big border prints, big waist bows, made of cotton, super OTT AP style sweet. That's what people are talking about when they say 2010 sweet prices are skyrocketing. And right now, I think I saw magic fracking princess you have to see this dress hang on magic fracking princess which i denigrated by the way <laughs> as over over bloated clip art like <laughs> fracking when the paper seems to be a common out. theme of you talking about how how much a dress is ugly and you hate it and then for some reason you get this weird just this this little thing like a switch flips in your brain and you like i must have and then you get it, and you love it, and it ends up in your closet, and it ends up on Frock Talk, and you talk about, oh, look at the things, and I love the things, and it's so sweet, so pretty. So tell me how much you hated this dress once upon a time, <laughs> and why you thought it was glorified clip art. No one asked you to psychoanalyze me, or to speak <laughs> truth to power. Yeah. Gotta, gotta do something to fucking make this tolerable. Hey! That is that is a drop in the bucket compared to the abuse that I deal with on a fucking hourly basis. The sad thing is, and honestly, it's minutely. The sad thing is that it's true. He's telling the truth. It's horrible. It's horrible. But back to the thing that people care about, which is the stress. Uh, Magic Princess. Magic fracking princess was not popular when it came out, okay? This thing was consistently selling... Like, for like, what, $120 here, $120 there? I saw one go for 80 80 okay? 80 And that might have been the Japanese secondhand market, and that's always going to be cheaper than the Western market for the most part. But, like, this dress I recently saw sell on the Western market, I think it's at, like, $500 or something like that. Wow. Insanity. What else recently sold? Milky fracking planet recently sold for a grand. Even at like the height of Milky Planet Mania, like I remember the highest it was was like $600, $700, something like that. Oh, grand. It's been like a decade and I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> You're going to fucking look at it. Is it, it was supposed to be Frock Talk. It ends up being Entire Wardrobe Tour Part 3. <laughs> Because we've done two more, we've done two of these previously. We're not going through the entire wardrobe. We're going through a spike tour, all right? <laughs> there is no reason. I mean, isn't that all, your whole fucking YouTube channel is a spike tour? Shh! <laughs> Don't tell them my my method. <laughs> we already covered the hate parade. <laughs> I need to see that video again. As I was saying, though, seriously, this recently went for a grand. A grand. And the thing is, like, I'm so crazy obsessed with this fashion, that doesn't phase me. Like, 
and I don't mean like that I would buy it for that. I mean, I'm not fucking selling this. This could go for 20 grand. I wouldn't care because I'm a crazy person. But seriously, Milky Planet. Confirmed for crazy. There. <laughs> Keep going. Yes. Milky Planet. I'm going what to kill about? you. <laughs> the camera will shut off and then I will kill you. And I will stuff your body in a cabinet. <laughs> then you'd have no more fucking Lolita storage space. I'm trying to do the math right now. <laughs> At what point does my wardrobe get big enough that I need the cabinets? I mean, we're ge we're f very quickly approaching. Like we've, I don't know if your viewers know this, but uh, th we've already reached almost maximum capacity in here, and her dresses have spilled out into the master bedroom, which is behind this wall right here. Some people thought that bedroom was just a set, like that I just made that to be a set. Like that's. I mean, bedroom. it is a set, it's but a it's set. also your bedroom it's that you sleep in. It's my bedroom that I sleep in. I didn't. If I designed a set, I would not put a bed in it. That's <laughs> what? What? That's weird. That's just a weird thing to think or do. We're gonna get a lot of comments from people that will. I I bought a bed for my set. Don't judge me. <laughs> I, I don't know why they talk like that. They just Every, everyone planets. talks like that when they're being annoying. But anyway. <laughs> I don't like them. They <laughs> yeah. all have that voice. Either that or that. Yeah, beep, 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 beep. The really <laughs> high weaselly voice. I got so many comments about that fracking voice. Like, yeah, it's beneath you. Why are you giving them? The <laughs> I, love you give, I love you. Give them that voice too. <laughs> <laughs> I totally immediately did it. <laughs> Jesus, nothing is beneath me. <laughs> talking to <laughs> jesus i'm not lolita gandhi <laughs> anyway gandhi would be an Ida. have you seen the way that man dresses very minimalist yeah sure. he'd be an Ida. all right he'd refuse to wear a blouse because he could he's fit into everything though oh, he would fit he... everything <laughs> girls be jealous wouldn't, of gandhi wouldn't need any sharing at all he would be the itty bitty titty committee <laughs> commander seriously how did we get here <laughs> Yes, Milky Planet. Why, what were we talking about again? It's expensive now. It's expensive. These are waffle Look at cones. It. The fucking castle is upside down ice cream cones. I'll be damned, it is. What the Look at fuck? That. That's amazing. I know this isn't the Milky Planet frock talk, but I saw that and my brain exploded. <laughs> also, is there supposed to be like a person in there? Are we seeing this little purple dude? What's going on in there? It's hard to... Is that a person? You see what I'm talking about? I see a little purple? I see purple. I don't know. It looks like... You know what it actually looks like, Tyler? What? It looks like little tiny bunny ears, like, peeking out the corner. Oh, maybe it's a bunny. Yeah. It's... I thought it was just some purple dude about to go to town on himself. A bunny, like, peeking like he's not supposed to be looking. Yeah. It's like a peeking trapped. bunny. That's uh, trapped. That just got dark. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. He does look kind of sinister, though, doesn't it? <laughs> totally does. We've ruined this. Now the, now the value's just gonna fucking plummet. No <laughs> one's gonna want this. It's gonna be a dish rag. But no, in all seriousness, like, the AP OTT suite, that 2010 style AP suite, is just exploding. Dresses that I bought for, like, $120 on the Japanese secondhand market, because it's only in these past couple of years that I've started buying new regularly. Before, it was all secondhand, because it was all those prints that I missed out on when I was a Babby Lita in 2010 and didn't have the funds to fully invest in Lolita besides like, you know, four or five dresses. So I missed a lot of things and I spent a lot of my later Lolita years collecting things that I'd missed and I got so many good deals, like $120 there, $150 there. Some dresses, like fancy paper dolls, 70 bucks. 70 came with the head bow and this is a gorgeous dress. So, Seeing the market spiral the way it has, has honestly, I feel bad for people who are coming into the fashion right now and seeing things that I bought for $120 listed for 500. Like, it's pretty wild out there. And I honestly think that 2010 style of suite has come back around. It's come back around in the popularity and I'm not the only one who thinks this, but AP isn't really listening to that. Like if you look at the popularity of ice cream parlor, that's what people want right now. They want a big ass border print in that OTT sweet style. And what AP is putting out for their fall and winter collection right now is just a bunch of all over prints. Just a bunch of floating random stuff in a sea, which I like because I bought two of. Here's, you know, here's these guys, sugar candy shop. I got two of them. They're all over prints. You'll notice there's not like a big border print. It's just mm -hmm. the prints all over. That's why it's called an all over print. 
I like, but people have returned to wanting these big ass order prints. Like Toy Doll Box is a recent example of that. And it was wickedly popular enough that it needed another release and people bought it. And now they're all I over can, the market. I can confirm this because I have been on the couch next to you while you were shopping on the secondhand markets on our on our big screen mm -hmm. and it's on there's like five of them on every fucking page like jesus christ there's toy doll box again like what the fuck the mto is finally delivered so now all like the scalpers that bought a fuck ton of them are flooding the market with them and since there's so many they can't get like 40k yen for them so they're all listing them for like 28k yen which is roughly 280 usd for kelly Eden. um <laughs> How old is that video? It's so old. It's like five years ago. You're I still fucking giving this woman shit. She denigrated those poor fracking. If you work in the service industry, okay, you get enough shit as it is, and you don't deserve that shit. And she denigrated them. She like tried to rush them and gave them attitude when she should have been prostrate, begging for mercy. She was talking <laughs> about how oh maybe the shop's going out of business. They need to hang on oh to my this God. money. We're we're, we're dredging this controversy up all over again. You know, God forbid a business want money. <laughs> oh, still mad. I'm waiting for, like, some really angry comments. Like, seriously? Because like, well, the put... fucking, the, the like to dislike ratio on that one video in particular. <laughs> the likes was... were still bigger. They the were, were, they were, but it was, like, just barely. Well, it's not like I'm going to put her name in the video, so her fans aren't going to see, like, Kelly Eaton and come the fuck over. Like, it's, she just gets mentioned. Fair enough. For reasons. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to the purpose of this video. So, yes, um, prints like Decoration Dream right now. Oh, are... yeah, that's what this video is about. I honestly <laughs> forgot what we were doing. <laughs> I went off on a tangent. Things got wild. We went off on, like, about eight tangents. Talked about Gandhi. Talked about Kelly Eaton. Those things are related. <laughs> anyway, Decoration Dream, which this has become a nightmare, but this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is going to be fine. It's not fine. Um, but yes, this pretty dress is, I believe, I feel like it's a 2014, 2013 release. I could be wrong. I'm going to put the name of it on the screen, but honestly, it is in that 2010 suite style, which is big ass border print, cotton, huge bow, OTT suite. You know, this is what's all the rage right now in Lolita, insofar as sweet Lolitas go. Like, this is what is commanding, like, the three to five hundred dollar price tags even though it's like almost a decade old or whatever the sweet market right now is insane and the jewelry is the same way like that has just like that shook me like i'm shook over that like jewelry that i was buying for like 15 dollars here 20 dollars there is now going for a hundred dollars some for 200 and if you watch the secondhand market i think a milky planet jewelry thing recently went for 300 i could be wrong it's ugly because it's orange i've never liked the milky planet jewelry so i'm sorry for whoever bought it <laughs> your loss but it's going for a lots of monies right now from tacky people i guess <laughs> but this is decoration dream back to nice things <laughs> Stop just coming for random people what is wrong with me but yeah, Decoration Dream. Let's have one last look at it because we, uh, we need to wrap this up before I come for somebody else. Oh, well, I mean, we got to take a... We realize California is off limits right yes. now. We yes. We got to take some random shots at uh, at, a, a, at a state that did absolutely nothing wrong Honestly, to us. Honestly, please take over because I have burned this motherfucker down <clears> and I need somebody to rebuild it. All right. Uh, what's the state that we haven't done yet? Um, we went after the Mormons. Yeah, Utah. Went after Utah. Fuck all Utah. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like we did Oklahoma. Did Oklahoma. Kansas? I feel like we did Kansas. Yeah. I mean, we, we, kind of. Kind of, not really. Kinda. Arkansas. Ar Ugh. Oh. Just, just fuck right off. I almost got heat stroke in Arkansas. So in all seriousness, like, fuck Arkansas. <laughs> I, oh my God. Arkansas is kind of crazy. Have you driven through it? I actually have not. When we drove through it, there were people sitting out on their front porches with like shotguns in their lap, and watching you, as our car drove by like this. And you just hear. Honestly, it was some deliverance looking <laughs> shit. Okay. I was a little bit afraid and we were in a car that was going pretty fast. I love that scene in King of the Hill when, which is by the way, anyone who's watching this, if you haven't watched King of the Hill, it's like the best show ever. It's a great show. Um, and very, very accurate for anyone who's from suburban Texas. Um, 
But the scene where Hank is driving through, he's driving into Arkansas and there's a, a sign that says, welcome to Arkansas, home of President Bill Clinton. And he gets all scared and locks the door. <laughs> it's the door. fucking greatest scene. I need to put that in there. I'll put that in there. It's a great scene. No, oh, that, that's a great one. Uh, what other states are there that need... Oh, we gotta save some. Oh, we gotta save some? Yeah, we gotta save some for future frock talks slash state insult barrages. State insult barrages? Is that the official name? I feel like yes, we can that, that is the little. official name. We can shop that it is little. the official we can work name. On that. Nope, it's official. Too late. Can't take it back. <laughs> Says who? Says me. Who's me? Me, me. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I'm not going to say my name. Yeah, I would prefer We're, you not. I, we'll, we'll, that's kind of going to be a surprise for some viewers. We're going to hold that one back. Some of them already know. Gonna, you know like like five the of them know. They're going to flood the comments with it now. Look what you Well, tough, tough titty. They can go fuck themselves. Who wants to hear about your titties? <laughs> Put your titties what made, away. What made you think I was talking about my titties? <laughs> Whose titties are you speaking of, good sir? Hey! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Before I murder you with it. <laughs> you just walked right into that one. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. I'm blocking the door. And I'm gonna find a blunt object. And it will not end well for you, my friend. You will be curtains. It will be curtains for you. I don't know why we're here. How did we get here? Why am I always threatening you? You know to what? Okay, you? you know what's going on? Okay. We've been quarantined. For what seven months now, roughly? It feels like we're seven getting months. fucking cabin fever, and our brains are starting to atrophy. That's what's going on. It's been seven months. Yeah. I thought it had been like three or four. Nope. Time is starting to slip away from me. The walls yeah. So are that that's in. why that's why we're getting a little a little cuckoo bananas. Cuckoo what now? <laughs> Cuckoo Bananas. Cuckoo Bananas? It's from Better Call Saul. Oh, okay. Which is right. the best show in the world. Watch it. It's kind of depressing, but it is a good show. Yeah. That took me a second. I thought I thought you would come up with that yourself, and I was about to go to town on the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's have one last look at Decoration Dream since we're done threatening to kill each other for the day. On camera, anyway. On camera. That's true. <laughs> so we'll continue behind the scenes. So yeah, Decoration Dream. A gorgeous something something print from something year that I will insert <laughs> on the screen because I've forgotten. I haven't memorized the dates of every print, okay? I know all their names and that's hard enough. Apparently a lot of people don't even know all the names of the dresses they have. For shame. For shame on you. Go study, alright? That's your homework. <laughs> Go study. Go look up your dresses on Low Library. A great resource, by the way. I use that for fracking every LWLN practically to look up things. Go look them up. Learn your name. Learn your dress names. Quiz yourself. All right, that's your homework. You got nothing else better to do. You're stuck at home. Go do some homework. In America, anyway, and the other big boy countries they actually live normal lives. Don't remind me that I other know. people did it right and that they God. had their lives back. Ugh. You live in America. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it is what it is. I'm trying to think of something positive to say about my country right now, and I'm coming up short. Yeah, I got nothing. Want Ask to do me. Here? Uh, actually, real quick, let's run down your cord that you're wearing right now because oh, we yeah. did this right before this video, and this one was actually kind of hard. So yeah, this is mm. the. Uh, we already did the frock talk on it, the Wizard of Oz print. Yes, which it's, is cool. It's the Wizard of Oz, My Precious Things, GSK by Baby the Stars Shine Bright, and our last frock talk was on this. This is one of the few dresses that had made. Was it the last one? I thought we did one since. No, I think this was the last one. We didn't right. do another one, did we? I don't remember. Yeah, it but was Cookie's a... Sweet Ice Cream. Then we did an unboxing of Ice Cream Parlor. Then we did this uh, one. This okay. was our last Frog Talk. There we it go. Was. So yes, this is the Wizard of Oz, My Precious Things, JSK by Baby the Stars Shine Bright. And we got the little red shoes. Oh, yeah. I think we should go out there and show them the outfit in better lighting. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's do it. Watch out for the light there. Which we're not going to really use. Oh, look at, look at what's in my way. Look at what's impeding my progress. It's a baby! It's a whole ass baby! Oh, there she go. Goodbye, baby! Marshmallow. <laughs> like, I didn't sign a release form. Get me off your camera. It feels dark in here for some reason. 
Uh, you got all your lights on. Yeah, I do. All right, I'm over here, Mr. Cameraman. Yeah. Follow me. So this is the My Precious Things JSK. This was our last Frock Talk, and I'm trying to wear what I talk about on Frock Talk in the next video so that you guys can see them worn and not just like laid out on a bed. So I really like this JSK. I think this is, I say it every single time, but now this is one of my favorite dresses. It was actually kind of hard to cord for me because I actually don't have a lot of red. I am a very pastel oriented Lolita and I actually had to go fishing for like red accessories like this angelic pretty bracelet that I have. I got this ring at a convention. I can't remember the brand name. I have a little AP red candy ring. I think all together they look pretty cute. I've got my red shoes which was actually cameraman's idea because I forgot about Dorothy wearing red shoes and I feel kind of silly. Take full credit. You absolutely should, because I was going to wear blue shoes, because I completely forgot. I think this was my idea, too. That was your idea. It was cameraman's idea to wear this choker, which gives a little something to the top. I think that's really cute. Talk about your little uh, your little piece right here, your heart piece. Oh, I recently got this, like, AP clip. I have three AP clips now. I'm so proud. Um, I've always wanted something like that with, like, an AP, like, logo on it because I just think they're really cute and then AP released a bunch of clips so and I've you, been you made them. these red bows that I you're did. wearing I made these gingham bows I made them they're not professional but they're they work they're very I, I like them I oh think they're turn cute. around oh you want to show the waist bow that you tied I tied the shit out of that motherfucking <laughs> bow you did tie it it was great I think this is your best bow yet it's 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 wrinkled a little bit since <clears throat> since uh, we started filming, but I still. Honestly, all the Lolita boyfriends out there, they're taking notes right now. They should. Are definitely Boom. High bows. I think it looks good. I think it's your best bow yet. I think it's really cute. I really like it. I've been trying to keep my hair, if you've noticed me pushing my hair back 50 times per second, I'm trying to keep my hair off of the actual like bust of the JSK so you can see the details. Because if my hair falls down, it's like a curtain. And like you just can't see anything and a lot of this JSK is at the top here with this really pretty like massive bow and the little baby gold like heart I think that's really cute but yeah it is cute that's my outfit I think it turned it's, out really cute zoom out so I can see your little pose there <laughs> my little pose this. Yeah. do it again ridiculous. why would I do it again cuz people like seeing you pose why not like this seriously no, there's no commitment. Commitments. I'm about to get you committed. <laughs> One more. What, what, like this? What? What are you looking for? Uh, commitment. Commitment Look at you. to what? At least pretend to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will, I will pose for you once and we'll put music over it. How's that sound? Yeah, let me get back because there's not really Zoom. I have to physically... Move back. Yeah. All right. Yes. Go. That's uh, that's pretty good, but do something with your arms. Do something. Yeah, I feel like you can do better. <laughs> I'm about to put you in a very small box and shove that into the ocean. <laughs> drive to the ocean. Alright, we don't need to see any more poses. Alright. You don't need poses. You were lucky to be blessed with poses. Do a flip. Oh! <laughs> anyway, I think we can end this video back in the closet, because we got a spiel to say. I don't know. Alright, let me put let me put Decoration Dream back, because it's going to drive me nuts if I don't. They all have homes, okay? Every last one of these dresses has its own home and it's gotta go back to its home or I will lose my mind. Okay, there we go. I think we're all right, we got it. Everything's fine, it's not fine, but it's gonna be fine. Oh, when people have asked like what your system is, like for, is it alphabetical, is it by brand? Like, no, it's actually just whatever she thinks looks better in that spot. Yeah, I, I go, whenever I get a new dress there, at least when I used to put them in here, since I've spilled out into the master bedroom, a crazy dance takes place <laughs> where I like put the dress in 50 different spots and adjust the hangers every single time to see if I like that dress 
right there. Because like for me, the wardrobe has a certain like aesthetic to it and a certain like color balance. Like maybe I don't want too many blues close together, so I'll space them out. So there's kind of like an Easter egg effect. That's, that's what I'm essentially going for in every like pastel outfit that I do. And I, I extend that into my wardrobe. Like I want this gorgeous blend of little Easter eggs, you know, all together in a little basket, kind of like in Happy Garden. So like, I like it. That's how, that's how I do it. I just put it where I think it looks cutest and will make the wardrobe look super pretty and colorful. And that's roughly my system. Confirmed for crazy dance. Yes. I'm not going to even fight you on that. I am a crazy person. That's the one you picked out the crowd. So how do you feel about that? It's 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 an ordeal. Every day you stray further from God. <laughs> God? What's that? Hey, don't pretend. You actually have a religion, unlike me. Yeah. It's a crazy religion, but it's not I guess they all kind of, oh, they kind of all are. It's not a crazy religion. It makes more <laughs> sense than most of them, and that's well, coming from you. an atheist. Anyway, let's wrap this, whatever this was. Um, this has been Tyler. You've been watching Scarfing Scarves. Thank you for tuning in to another installment of Frock Talk. Next week's edition is coming up soon. The patrons have voted on the next frock. They also voted on this frock. On Decoration Dream, the patrons have also voted in the next frock. So if you would like to have your ver your voice heard in frock talk votes, so you can see a certain dress sooner than the next century, because we have a lot to go through, you can join the Patreon. And I would like to thank my patrons for putting up with whatever this is supposed to be. I, I don't even have more words for it because my brain is fried. This is how long we've been at this. We went with Kelly Eden, Gandhi, attacks on other states, California's on fire. I don't know what this show is anymore, and I'm sorry. But if you would like to join the Patreon, you can find it at patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews. Why you would do that, I don't know, but you can. It's a possibility. It's an option. It's a last desperate resort. Mm-hmm. <laughs>